Hello good class, this is our maths lesson today. Today for our maths lesson you're going to need some paper, if you've got two colours of paper that would be really helpful, if you don't white paper is okay. You'll also need scissors, some glue and some pens or some colours especially if you just have white paper. Okay, so can you try and find those things? Fantastic! Now, what we're going to do is, before we start using these things, we're going to do the opposite of what we did last week. Remember last week I told you a number and you had to show me on your fingers? Well today I'm going to show you a number on your fi my fingers and you've got to tell me as quick as you can what that number is. Are you ready? Let's go. Fantastic, it was five. Let's do another one. Fantastic, it was two and the last one. Well done, that was eight. Now, what we're going to do with these things that you had together is we're going to do something like what we did at Christmas. Do you remember at Christmas we made a massive paper chain and it went all the way across our classroom? It was really good and everybody helped. Everyone made at least one strip, which was very good. So today we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to use our paper chain to help us with our number bonds. That's why you'll need two colours. If you don't have two colours, it's okay. What you can do is you can make, you can decorate your white paper, but I'll show you that in a second. So I've already made some strips of paper in white. I'm going to show you how to do it using the red paper. So we'll put those there for a second. So you'll need to hold your red paper in one of your hands and your scissors in the other hand. Make sure you hold your scissors properly. Then you need to cut your red paper or your paper into strips all the way across the paper. See how many we can do that with. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. I got seven out of that. You're going to need at least ten of each colour. So that's seven, so I need to do a few more. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Now let's check that I have ten strips of red paper. Let's just check. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oops, that one fell. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I've checked. I've got 10 strips of red paper ready to start my paper chain. Now, like I said, if you don't have two different coloured paper, it's okay. You can use white paper and you can decorate some of them. So you could maybe, I don't know, do some circles on them, colour in your circles on one strip like this. Or you could maybe do some zigzags on a second strip. So if you just if you are using white paper, make sure you do two different patterns instead of two different colours. So you could have spots and zigzags or whatever you like, but you'll need two different patterns. Okay, we'll just put those over there for a moment because I don't need those at the minute. Then what you'll need to do with your strips to start your paper chain is you need to make your strip into a circle like this. Then you'll need your glue. Oh, lid's a bit stiff. There we go. Right, get your glue ready. So you put a little bit on the end of your, your strip like that. And then you turn it over into a circle and press the glue to close it. And you keep going. So to do our number bonds, I'm going to do some of them in red 
and then the rest I will do in white. So I've done one red, I'll do this one red, I'll put some glue on. Two in red, let's do another one in red. And I have to keep going until I have 10 circles on my chain. So I've done two. Three, put some more glue on for four for the next strip. Five, we'll do another one in red. In red so some of them are like this and some of them are that way so you can see six let's check one two three four five oh have I only done five I only did five Miss Lynch is not counting very well you've got to make sure you count properly or otherwise you'll lose track like Miss Lynch did so let's do that again just to check one two three, four, five. I've done five. So I'm going to do one more to make it six. I've done five reds. Remember to count carefully or you'll get it wrong like Miss Lynch did. Five, six. Now I've got six red ones on my paper chain. So I'm going to continue my paper chain using white until I get to ten. Seven. We'll do another one. Put it through. Put the glue on. Squeeze it so it closes. Seven, eight, I think. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, yes. Let's do another. How many more do I need for ten? Does anybody know? Tell me on the video. Eight. Oh. This one is nine. Let's put this one through. Nine. And then one more. So I needed two more when I asked that question. To make ten, and then this one is ten. So let's check. That's your first challenge. To make, excuse me, to make your paper chain and check that you have ten rings on your paper chain. Let's count to check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I did it. So you need a paper chain with ten rings. Number two. Can you make a paper chain to show the number bonds and see how many different ways you can make ten? You might have to make many different number, many different paper chains to show me. Take a picture so I can see all the ways you've created ten. And challenge number three. Can you write all of those number bonds down? Have a go at writing your number sentences to show all those number bonds that you've created with your paper chains. Make sure you put your work on tapestry. Stay safe. Oh, and mums and dads, make sure you let me know how your children found this lesson. Stay safe, everybody, and I'll see you all really soon back in school. Bye-bye.